me is Crystal Edge Technology Screens. Uh, today, we're doing that demonstration I posted yesterday on gray projection screens. Now, our technology is a little different from other screen paints out there on the market. We have that uh, ambient projection technology, number one. And then number two, our screens have that color coding technology, which allows our screens to pull up much more deeper and richer colors. Uh, if I can figure out exactly where in the world the remote control is, right there. So I'll show you this is right here. The largest screen is coated with the ultralight gray. Then we have uh, Crow's product here. We have Crow's Metallica Mix 2.0 right there. And then just added in for the mix, we put in a Cinema Gray 5D. These are all gray screens. Now, a few things you're supposed to see. When you're watching these demonstrations, number one, you should be seeing multiple colors displays. You should be seeing contrast and star fields and all that stuff like that. Everything, everything down to white levels, everything down to contrast. Contrast is definitely more important than anything else. You should be seeing more of that. I usually get on much earlier than this, but as I told you before, I'm working on a big project for my uh, deck and I uh, had a friend over today to help me start working on building the uh, this setup for the ultra short throw acoustic setup screen that I'm going to be putting outside pretty soon and uh, it's going to be quite some work to install that in so I need a few people to come over and help me out with that trust me these people have all been tested they're good to go and they'll walk through the house if they weren't and they're going to help me do some work out front out the back of the house where the deck is at to install this platform that I need to set up the screen and everything that I'm putting out there. I told you I'm going to be doing something really interesting with the back of the house. Now we're going to do a fast demonstration here because I have to get ready for ship outs that are going to be coming up. These are my ship out dates. We're going to start putting our ship out dates out for our customers so they can uh, start getting ready to uh, receive their orders. All right. Okay, let's go. And I still got to set this thing up on the website. I got two things I got to build on the website today, which I got to get around to it. We got a how to page we have to do. We're doing a lot of paint on demonstrations and some other things we're working on. All right, so let's get through this first, uh, white levels first. I did this already, but we're going to do this again because, as I said before, if you're watching anything on gray screens, one of the things you're supposed to be to see are those white levels. I'm oh, no, sorry, those contrast levels because any screen can bring up a white level. The color white, a white screen. So we're going to display that first. Here's our white levels first. Okay, there we go. So there's the white levels, our white levels on our gray, the white levels on the other screen paint products. And then you have the um, Cinema Gray 5D on their elite screens. I thought I'd put a certify in there. All right, so you see the white levels coming up. Blue screen. I have to bring up blue screen because for some strange reason, it does not want to pull up. Um, red, for some reason, keeps bringing up auto books or whatever it's supposed to be bringing up. All right, so lights on and off because I don't feel like going back and forth and doing the whole demonstration all over again all right so there's a the products right there let's come out of this and let's bring up a couple of uh, video demonstrations you're going to do lights on and lights off and there you go as you can see our gray screen paint brings up a much richer color All right, now from there, we'll switch over to uh, red. This is the color I was trying to bring up. Like I said, the machine doesn't want to bring it up. There's red. As you can see, we pull up a much richer two screens. Actually, on all three screens, red's faded. And we'll do this with the lights on. All right, now let's bring up the color green. Let's go with a color changer. Screen will fade out the different colors. 
Now these are demonstrations you're supposed to see when you're dealing with gray screen paint. As I said before, at the end of the day, it's your, it's your money at the end of the day. Okay, now let's bring up some of the important stuff that I usually never see. These are on demonstrations I request, which is the Starfield demonstration. And there's the Starfield demonstration as we display on our gray screens. I do like to display the contrast levels, and I keep saying this before. You know, if you're going to be developing gray screens or any kind of screens or whatever, you have to display contrast level. It has to be displayed. Starfield has to be displayed. And you should be to see the difference. Like I said, at the end of the day, it's your money. I can walk through my house. My customers can walk through their houses and their screens are all lit up. You can't get your screen to fire up and you can't get that contrast level to pull off. Yeah, it's your screen. And this projector behind me has a 22,000 to 1 contrast. Now you're probably saying, well, I see good contrast there. No, you don't. You're actually seeing gray. See, I can see gray. If your eye is not trained for it, you can't see it. I can see gray. From a distance, you wouldn't even see that. If I walk up on top of that screen, you should see a difference between one or the other. And these screens only can pick up gray. That's it. They can't pull contrast level. Contrast demonstrations. It's gonna bring up something. Oh, actually, it did bring up something properly. Usually, you have to fight with it. Look, you do. See? Can't see contrast. That's what I've been telling you. See, our only our technology has coding capability, which means the coding capability is the um, ability to read a contrast level of a projector that has a 22,000 to one contrast. You can't see it on the other screen. Let's go back and show you that again. Even with 22,000 to 1 contrast on your projector, you can't see it. You can't see it at 22. It doesn't make a difference how high you go up in the number. You can't see it at all, period. Because neither one of these screens can pick it up, including the certified. They can't pick it up either. That's why we have a certified at the end. The color you're supposed to be seeing is black. Now, how would this compare next to a 12? A 12 would take my screen apart. This right here, black on um, black, silver, or ultralight grays they can they can mimic contrast levels they can't produce the same as a black screen a black screen is going to pull a 100 percent contrast level starting probably monday we're going to start showing off that outdoor black paint yep pretty soon pretty soon all right so Let's move on from there. Any gray screen is going to produce high white levels. Colors and all that stuff, that's easy. Any gray screen can do that. Just like when we do black screens, black screens on my end, I require to pull a white level. That's why I do snow levels and all that stuff from the door because that's something you're supposed to see from a white, from a um, black screen. Uh, high color levels. If I do contrast, it's easy because the screen is designed to do contrast. It's a black screen. Same thing if I'm showing you my gray technology, I have to be to show off contrast levels. And I have to show you contrast levels against other screen paints or other screens. This screen already went through 11 screens certified already. If you want, I'll post it at the bottom for you to check it out. Now you go back, see how the reds don't pull up properly. Go back again.
That's why I tell people you need to look at your demonstrations carefully. You really do. At the end of the day, it's your investment. And I'm good where I'm at. Like I said, I'm upstairs watching a movie right now. My windows are open right now and I'm watching a movie. I actually took half of the day off to relax. I'm upstairs watching a movie. You know, curtains are open. If I want, I can watch a movie on any one of these screens in the house. I'm not blacking out any curtains in my environment and my colors are coming up correct. This is why you got to go in and calibrate your, uh, your colors. All right. Let's go to outer space screen savers. See, she fights me on this one. This one's been a little bit temperamental. The other ones were perfectly fine throughout the house, but this particular one's been a bit temperamental. I think I'm off to go on either reset or put a firmware in. I say her because it's a female, basically, that talks back and forth. See, look, press hold to speak in. Cancel. Nope, she's in limbo. She doesn't want to work right today. You can always swap her out for another one. Let's see what's wrong with her. We may have to reset her. Yeah. Amazon, you want your uh, your fire sticks to get promotion, man. you got to get these things working right. I go through this from time to time. But then again, like I say, it's technology. you got to deal with it. See how that screen's supposed to come up black? Now you don't you can't pick up contrast on your on these screens. Our technology can pick it up. I think this particular one may have some problems because every time I ask for red, I ask for auto books. I don't know why the rest of the house don't even have that problem. I got to be getting off here quick because I am going gaming tonight, which my uh, driver will be on tonight. And I'm actually in a 20 minutes right now and I plan to be upstairs gaming on my system. I don't know which screen I'm going to use today. Pretty soon when the weather gets good and my friends finish building the little stadium I want to put out there, I'll be out there gaming. I'll be doing my videos out there on that deck. Oh man, you got to see how I'm hooking this thing up. And it's not going to cost me a lot of money. The whole purpose of designing this thing is so it doesn't cost a lot of money. Let's go over to, oh man, this new sign of projectors, beautiful man, 150 bucks for this projector, 600 by 800 by 720p, this thing looks better than the, the Chrissy, that's what I'm not even using the Chrissy, but Chrissy's a full 1080p projector at 43, alright, let's go, let's try this again, um, screen savers, outer space. See, I have to go through all that just to get her to see, to get that done. See what I mean? See? There you go. This is what you're supposed to be seeing. We're going to keep this on contrast levels only. That's what we're going to do through the whole video. While I have time here, we're going to do contrast only. This is the one area they skip the most. They will show them bright, beautiful colors, but they will stay far away from the contrast levels. They will do those demonstrations when the lights are dark, when it's dark outside or it's dark in the environment. That's when they'll stick to those particular demonstrations because they can pull a better image or a fake contrast level in a dark environment. You can't do it in a well-lit environment. Why do you think every time I request for this particular demonstration to be done, it's always avoided? Now, I can come on here. I can show you our green, our gray screen paint. Yeah, we have gray screen paint. Some people come out and they and they don't understand exactly what we sell, and they go, "Oh, well, your black screens, your black screens." We design everything. We got the platinum eclipse. That's a dark gray screen. It's gunmetal. We have the black silver. We have the ultralight gray. This is an ultralight gray that we're using right now. Contrast level on it. That's a gray screen. We have um, uh, several different screens, like I said. So we go from, pit. you want a dark gray screen? We have a dark gray screen. You want an ultra black? We got a black screen. You want a screen that's transparent and black? We have the, um, the Luminous. They can do that. They have the ability to be transparent. 
Do you want different color screens? We'll have that next week. The, yeah, the exotics are coming back. They'll be next week. Um, we just about everything. So we make everything. So for those of you that have been coming at us about our black technology, guess what? We have great technology, too. And it can pull a contrast level. And we can do all the stuff that we requested everybody else to do on that gray screen. So before y'all start ranting about, oh, it's not fair because he has a black screen. Guess what? We got great technology, too. And I can pull a contrast demonstration. I can do the stuff that I told y'all to do. Not saying the people constantly come at us told y'all to do. I can do it right here on my technology. Ready against y'all paint. And a certified screen over there. Now, if I can do it, I'm pretty sure you can do it. Didn't like being told that one. That bothers them a bit. See, I can pull your white levels too. Do that in a fully lit environment. I need light. An environment. See, that's some bright. Instead of projector I'm using right here, has a 22,000. 22, 22, I think, 22,000 to one contrast level. You would never see it. Now, when the video ends, I'll show you how light that screen is. You'd be surprised. And this is the ultralight. Black silvers are a little darker. They're a little bit darker. This is actually one of the lightest screens we ever developed. This has a 100% code in it right now. So this is what you should be seeing when you're watching demonstrations. See how dark that sky looks in the background right there? Look how dark that looks off that, off that gray screen. Let you see how light this stuff is. Now this is made, we designed this for, we have customers who don't fancy the darker screens. They still like the traditional gray screens. So this, this technology was developed for those particular customers. That's why I said if a black screen is not to your liking, then guess what? We have a gray screen too. We have two gray screens. The difference between our gray screens and everybody else is our gray screens can read a contrast level. See how dark that is? That's what you're supposed to be seeing. Why do you think I don't own a TV? Why would I own a TV? I can watch off this all day long. Hundred and fifty dollar projector. So we got his metallic right there, and we got his personal mix. Neither one of them can see contrast. And the problem people have with lighter gray screens is the fact that number one, they fail when the lights come on. They have a really hard problem with actually being able to pick up the images because the color fades, all that washes out. And then number two, well, actually, you know, I've got number one or two, they can't see contrast. See how beautiful that looks when the sky is jet black. I need to find out what saved this video because I'm doing a projection screens for the ceiling in the gaming room. And I would love to have this displayed off of it. That would look real nice. Mm. 
There you go. See? Can't pull contrast. Not one lick of it. There you go. You can pull your white levels with no problem. And contrast levels you can't see because you don't have coding technology. That's why. Your projector bounces off your surface. It only sees nothing but white light. It hits our surface. It can read different colors. We can even enhance the contrast levels, which we did on this technology. We enhanced the contrast levels so when the projector came up when we hit the screen, it could read. See, people are just used to seeing something bounce off the surface and come back. It's a little different with this technology. There is a code inside that product that when that projector fires off and hits that screen, it reads what's in between that, the product, the paint itself, where your stuff is just bouncing off. It's just bouncing off the image and you just get white light. That's why you're seeing such a faded image come back. That's why. Let me show you something before we go. Yeah, the screen looks dark. Take these off right now. That's how light my screen is. I told you it was light. It's a very light gray screen. You thought it was dark, didn't you? It looks dark if you stick it in front of the camera because that's the code activating. But no. It's a light gray screen. That's why it's got the name Ultralight. These are actually this screen is lighter than my um. It's much lighter than my um my black silver. Black silvers are darker than these. So for the time we've been asking over and over again for people who develop screen paints and I've been avoiding these demonstrations we've been requesting because you're the same as our company. You make the same thing we do. We can come in and make a gray screen paint that can produce a contrast level that your screen can't even see. See, light gray. Oh well, okay, with that being said, thank you for your time. And I always say we people say, what do you mean by we, it's just you. I mean, me and God, all right? Everybody knows at the end of the day, I give my Lord and Savior credit for everything that I do. And there you go. God gave us the ability to take a light gray screen and give it coding. So bear in mind that projector can basically pick up a contrast level. It doesn't have to have a contrast level at all. Tomorrow I'll bring a projector down here has no contrast reading reading at all. A thousand lumen, I think, has next to nothing. And we'll still pull a contrast level off this screen. So we've been requesting over and over again, star for demonstration, outer space demonstration, and they've been avoiding it. Well, just to show you it can be done. If they tell you it can't be done, it can be done. All right, with that being said, thank you for your time. I have to go, and God bless.